All right, everyone, old timer Mad Tom here. I got my last plant that I ordered from White Flower Farm. These guys are an online company. I got their catalog in the mail and really liked some of their products. So I purchased, I believe it's a hummingbird shade. And I bought a few other odd end plants from them. If you saw my earlier video, uh, you'll see that I bought some hostas from them as well as like a bleeding heart to some other odd end uh, part shade to shade plants due to me being on a north end. So today I'm going to show you the unboxing of this as well as me planting it. Hopefully it fits in the small green pot that I'm going to get out. But I just want to kind of show you how they ship their stuff and what's inside. So here's it open. You have a couple of things inside. I believe this is the planting bare root uh, guide. It gives you a rundown on how to plant while well, they shipped you, including the uh, potted plants. They also shipped me a, it looks like just a little uh, card with what you can buy. Um, they sell a lot of these uh, like annual pots where you kind of can buy the I think they include the pot too for an extra cost and you can buy the whole thing and give your porch or deck or patio, whatever you're building. Uh, give it a little neat design. So then it comes all packaged in. Of course, there's the like shipment uh, details. I took that out just so you don't have my address or anything. Looks like this came as a live plant. I wasn't sure. Some of my plants earlier came as live root. So this is what it looks like down here. Uh, let's see if I can get this apart one-handed. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm gonna have to pause it to cut this tape. All right, with that cut, I should be able to get it open. That's just gonna remove, keeps the plant protected. This is a little hydrangea. Let's see if they got it right here. There we go. Tiny Tough Stuff Hydrangea. Two quarts. Uh, trademark, so you can't propagate it or sell it. I'm actually not sure how that works with... Uh, I think propagation's prohibited if you're selling it, but I believe you can do it yourself. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they would prevent that. I wouldn't sell it, though. It kind of gives you a idea. Kind of tells you what to do. Hopefully this flowers July through August. This isn't exactly, this is full shade here. We're gonna see if this lives though. Um, I might end up moving it. As you can see, we're second day of May. Already my porch is getting some afternoon sun. So if this starts kind of doing a little struggle, we're gonna move it over here, hopefully. We'll just move it out of the way when we're trying to sit that way. Our plant as well, but we're gonna try to do mostly shade, so. Let me get this pot out, that way we can start planting. All right, so here's the pot. Uh, I've removed some soil, put it in there. I have some extra soil in the back to replace if I need to. Here's this. I'm gonna try to get it out, put it in there, and then I'll water this in. All right, here's it out of the pot. Just tease the roots kind of down at the bottom. Wasn't too root bound. I took some of the excess soil out. Now I'm just gonna Kind of snuggle it down in there, give it a little press. Let's see if that'll work. And then this is gonna fill in pretty quick. I'll probably move up to a bigger pot, maybe by the end of the year. We'll see how well this does. I don't know how much this is gonna grow or anything. Like I said, being that I'm doing part shade. And then I'm going to grab some of the soil that I took. And I'll probably, so I'll probably add some more soil um, from here. These ferns, um, we can talk about those for a minute. I got them from, I said in the earlier video, I was gonna do a video on it. I sometimes get a little busy when I'm working and forget to make videos. So for this one, I got these ferns from a friend. He got some woods and these have more than taken over. 
the area. So I thought I'd grab, you know, maybe 10 if even that. And I wasn't sure how well these would do. I watered these in well. I, uh, but as you can hear, it's, I didn't, don't know if I just stuck them up wrong or what. Um, so they, they're all dried out. If these don't make it, I'm going to see if they'll like send out a new shoot. Maybe it's just like transplant shock and the ferns themselves will die. Supposedly these ferns are pretty, pretty hardy. Um, so we'll see once I, uh, I'm going to let them die back, see if they'll come back. And if they do sprout back, I'll keep this as a fern. If not, uh, I've got a couple of other growers, kind of like White Flower Farm, that I want to order from. So I'm going to look to see if I can't purchase um, two or three, two or three plants that go in here. I might go with, this would be interesting. I love these uh, primroses. I think they're called African primroses. That doesn't sound right, though. I think they're just primroses. Anyways, I like these primroses. They come in all different colors and different shapes with the flowers. Um, so I think it'd be cool to get maybe two, three in there. Um, they come in pretty small, but they should do pretty well. I've found pretty good success growing them. So if this one does well, I might put it in here. But anyways, I'll... Uh, Save you the pain from having to watch me water this in, but that's pretty much it. Have a good day.